Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Boris here, playing some more Battle Heart Legacy. So I've decided to take a little bit of time to just clear up some of these places. I don't know what these ruins are. They're very far below me in level, but we'll just hop on in here. I'm thinking that I want to... Whoa, what are you guys doing? You're just destroying some poor hapless villagers. I want to pursue... Wow, that just one shot killed them. Yes, I am very overleveled here, which is completely fine. We've done enough challenging stuff in this run, I don't need to go crazy every single time. Anyway, I want to pursue the necromancer tree a little bit and replace my skeletons with a mummy. I like the idea of having a summon. I would like something that's a bit more proactive than the skeletons. Because having to kill something to get skeletons, you know, it is a non-trivial requirement, I would say. All right, now these guys are pillaging the village. Is there anything I can pillage? Any gold here you guys haven't pillaged yet? Aw, oh, darn. What was I saying? Oh god, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so uh, so having having the ability to make a summon uh, without having to kill something first seems like it could be useful. And apart from that, it's uh, the more I play, the more that I really just appreciate the... Um, like the, the fundamental character progression system in this game because when you multi-class early on you're very strong because you get to fill up your bar of skills quickly but once you know you have the quantity and quality becomes a more significant issue then you really wish that you had you know focused all your stat points and just gone for a single class so you can get all like the really good skills in that class Wait a minute, do I have more skills now? Wait a minute, I did not re I did not realize there were gonna be more skills. Oh, these are my guys. Wait a minute, hold on. So are you telling me uh Oh! Ha! <laughs> ha! They didn't have like any like things with like a lock symbol or anything, so I thought six was all you ever got. Oh my goodness! Well, we get to put some more oh I can only change in a safe place. Well that changes things a tad. How many skills I got? Three points? Nice. Uh, did, I, did I level up and miss it? Anyway, um, so that's interesting. That's actually a really big power spike because it means that you can like put in some, I mean, just having extra skills. I don't need to argue that point too much. Just being able to put in more skills, more like control skills or like skills that only apply in niche situations becomes less of a cost if you have more skills in total that you can log on in there. Well, this is just, you know, pushing buttons. You know what? I don't get Why, when I click on a guy to target them, do I walk towards the guy? I would like someone to explain that to me. I got a staff. It shoots things. It's one of the reasons I got a staff. be great if I could take advantage of my staff's shooting things, properties. Oh, I charmed the wrong target. I should have charmed this ogre here. Well, what I'll do, I guess, is I'll target him. And, um, hopefully the charmed guy lives long enough to justify my... Uh, decision to charm him. Although it's hard to justify a bad decision, isn't it? Isn't it, Boris? Okay. Wait, that's over. That's... Can I get in here? No. I don't take any damage either. I got a cottage key. I used it. Aw, oh, chest. Great. I love these free chests that have no... Wait a minute. I was just joking. I thought, I thought there'd be like some trap popping up, but I got some shoes. Are these like really great shoes? Where are these shoes? Uh, yeah, that's terrible, especially if you teleport a lot of the time. Okay, so this place just had a bunch of orcs ravaging it. Maybe I missed a quest somewhere, so there could have been more meaning and purpose to coming in here and clearing them out, but I guess that's that. Okay, let's go see if we can do... S oh, there's an ominous pasture. Oh, well, <laughs> I can't resist an ominous pasture. All right, so let's see if we can put some more skills in here so we can plug in the drain life. And, um, I don't know any more bards inside the thing. I think I already have all my neck. Yeah, I already have. I just know the one necromancer thing. This is just the stupid melee attack. I think I've already got all my wizard skills in here. Yeah, all right, I guess we'll just put in the, uh, the plague. So I gotta get used to this new life I live, which is up to, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, boy. Maybe I should start clicking to activate those later ones. Oh, is this a boss? Okay, so Charm's not going to work here. Let's turn on my teleport. Start shooting him with stuff. Okay, 
I'll just click to poison you. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess I'll teleport away from those bombs you're throwing at me. I mean, if we're gonna throw bombs, expect to be teleported away from. Oh! Oh, he switched his target. Turn teleport back on. Oh, I should have uh, maybe considered moving. A what? I totally clicked away. Ha! Ah, you lose, sucker. Okay, this is like a much easier version of a boss I already fought. The um, slime thing is a lot harder than this guy, which makes sense. It's like several levels higher. Yeah, I should try getting used to um, clicking to activate some of that stuff. Yep. I feel like I'm a matador. Ah, you summon dudes to help you. I think I'm just gonna keep targeting him though. I do have a charm here, but this guy's so close to dead. Stick another poison on ya. Blizzard. Did anything happen? Uh, you something even died. I just face tanked his charge. I don't know if a goblin sitting on a giant wild pig would really, like, blow up gradually Zelda boss style. I'm pretty sure this is just the basic one, right? Yeah, it's not as good as my six. Or, my six. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was cool. Let's go back out here. That's all there is for that place. I believe there's nothing more to do here, is there? Yeah, that's just the one place. Okay, so let's go to town. Ah, an encounter! Probably just some random thing. Yep, nothing super crazy going on here. Let's charm. Let's drop a fireball. A lightning ball. Oh, wow, that was, that was kind of funny. That just one-shot killed some stuff. Yes, these encounters are a little bit pointless, although I guess they are free experience, which seems to still be non-trivial in quantity. Okay, keep on trucking over here. So city center. Ah, there might be something in the castle now, I don't know. Let's see if this guy has any new stuff. I did hit a nice round number level. And anyway, I might be able to sell this stuff off to help pay for my training. So do you have anything better than a... Ooh, I think you do. Woo! Okay, wait, can we... 39, 42, 42, 43. That's actually not that big of an upgrade. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't really care about this value because I never hit things. It's just I'm paying 824 gold for one spell power. Okay, fine. I have a, I have a lot of money. We'll just spell it. Spend it. Um, so I think I already I found this, which is actually kind of nice. Apparently, it was a pretty expensive thing to find, and everything else is just bad. Okay, let's see if we have a thing that maybe heals more than six. 12% inst- Okay, I believe this means there's a 12% chance when I use an ability that its cooldown is not activated. I'm just gonna play fair. I'm not gonna worry about the cooldown things. I'd rather have like a permanent effect that always helps as opposed to just helping sometimes. 3% life drain, I don't think I need. 10% movement speed is interesting. 10% dodge, ah, okay. I think we're starting to get into the point where it's stuff I've seen before. Yep, okay. So we're not gonna get any of that stuff. Armor we already checked. Okay, well, I'm glad I popped in here for plus one spell power for like, oh wait, no, 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 let's sell some of my junk. There are some things I'm interested in keeping around. Obviously I wanna sell off all of my inferior armors. Those are totally pointless. I wanna keep this Captain Spyglass because it does combo with one of the witch's abilities, the one that uh, guarantees your next attack to be a crit, but you have to pay 20% of your life total for it. Now that I have extra spell slots, that is a thing I could just keep to conditionally use in difficult situations. And this. Okay, we're gonna just never use that. Or that, and that's weak, and then that I don't need. Okay, so now we've basically paid off the thing that we just bought. It's time to go pay a visit to the Necromancer, who I guess is not going to hang around in the Academy, but instead is going to hang out in the Tavern, which is perfectly fine. I like that that's unrealistic, because it just makes things more convenient. Are you over here? No, that's the Battle Mage. Are you over here? Is that, is that you? Are you the Necromancer? That looks fairly necromantical. Wind Wandering Plague! Okay, so let's go ahead and get the charisma I need for that. Train me in your ways, Necromancer! Withering. Increases the critical. It's actually kind of nifty. 
It does work with poison. I, it, it should work with my... Actually, hmm. Does my blizzard do damage over time? Take damage. I don't know if that's over time, though. I could put in my witch poison skill and the, the wandering plague and have both of them. I could get rid of this sort of low value single target damage healing s skill. I could also get rid of chain lightning, which is not that great of a skill either. And have two poisons. It's an interesting idea. Well, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that other... Because I do want to commit to getting that mummy. I forget where the mummy is, but we'll just keep going until we get there. Are you a mummy? You're a mummy. Ah, so I need the extra charisma. And now my intelligence side that I've put in for wizarding purposes is not high enough. So I need another level up because I need two points and I've only got one point left over. So what I'll do is I'll just put it in intelligence. In case that gives me an extra spell power, which it did. So time to think about skills. Okay, let's get rid of this and put in... Well, let's put, let's put my poison stuff at the end. And then I guess I will use the healing spell instead of chain lightning. Because chain lightning's damage is not that great. And this thing also is not that great of damage. But the healing I'm hoping is worth it. Okay, so I, st I actually am growing really fond of Blizzard. I do like that it slows things down. And we'll be replacing the skeletons with the mummy after we level up one more time. So now all we have to do is find a place to go. Let's go back to that one place that I couldn't do before, which I think was down here. It had those like skeletons that heal themselves. It was at this campsite. I've actually never been here. All right, we'll just do that later. Let's just go here. We're level, level 12. I'm only two levels behind now. I've got a bunch more skills, higher stats. Maybe now I'll be able to do it. Oh, hey, are you guys bad? You're bad. Okay, bad people. Okay, I do actually want to kill this guy, because that is a big guy. Now, my poison setup is maybe not the smartest. But I've got teleport, which I don't believe I had before. I don't think I had poison before. Or, sorry, I don't think I had teleport before. And teleport is good against these mages. Because, you know, you see that red circle, and by the time you move, it might have already attacked you and hit you. Okay, charm you. Activate teleport. GTFO. And work on the slimes while that guy's charmed. It actually might not even be the correct thing to do. It might be correct to actually just um, keep going hardcore for that guy, even while he's charmed. Because he is just such a big problem. These slimes are very slow moving, so remember, they um, break off into smaller slimes. So individually, they're not a problem, but they can become a problem. Because if there's other stuff in the neighborhood, then having these like random slimes wandering around can be a major problem. I gotta say, teleport. I mean, I always love movement abilities in tactical combat games, or dexterity based combat games. I, I think it's always really, really strong. And even if I'm not a particular genius for having figured that out, I think people just generally know that mobility is a good thing. I just really like it as well. And um, in this game where your guy kind of moves very sluggishly and takes time to get going, I think it's even better than I thought it would be. Okay, we're gonna hold off on the charm because I believe if I remember correctly, that there is more stuff coming. And what I'd like to do is charm like one of those spellcasters or something. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the slimes last. The slimes are ludicrously easy. Oh, I just used charm. Why did I use charm? I don't know. It was probably not a correct idea here, but hopefully, maybe maybe the slimes are the last thing to spawn. Maybe I just did an amazing job killing everything and this is it. Just some slimes. Oh man, I would really hope that this dungeon goes well, because there was a period of time there where I would be like, hey, something that's two levels above me, no problem. And then it was like, something that's one level above me, oh my god, I'm dying. Someone please call the hospital. Wait, if I remember correctly, this place had a fight in it, and there was, like, no reward. Alright, we'll do it. Let's go in here. 
Let's just get her done. See, just kind of do like a proof of concept, like how good am I? Oh, I remember this. This is where I was kiting the guy. And then, um, ha! Oh God, that feels so good. Those jumps really wreck me a lot of the time. Um, so I'm glad that I can deal with them now just by a single click. And I, 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 I hit the switch while I was still fighting the guy. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna raise him up as a skeleton and flip the switch. Okay, we're gonna charm that guy. Teleport over here, throw a blizzard. I'm actually gonna keep on targeting him while he is charmed. Put on an everlasting poison. Even though he's undead and you think undead, maybe poison's not the best weapon to use against them, I actually kinda like that never-ending plague. Now one qualm I have with this game, which might more precisely be called a beef or a problem or a constructive critique, is that you don't know what damage pretty much any of your spells do. Like, for melee skills, it'll be like, deal three and a half times weapon damage. It's like, okay, well, it's whatever my weapon damage is times three and a half. But for spells, it doesn't say. Now, it does seem that spell power increases spell damage, perhaps even in something very simple, like a one-to-one -one ratio. But, um, I think that spells have a, like, a default damage value, which you have no way of knowing in this game. Anyway, I have all my potions and I'm at full health, so I am clearly substantially stronger now than I was the first time I tried this, which is great. I think a big part of that is the fact that I have, well, two extra skills out, and the, the, the poison is actually kind of a big deal, because the, the poison, I know it's kind of hard to gauge exactly what impact it's having, but it's like a never-ending thing. The, the, the new one, this one right, oh, I gotta move. This one right there, that's like a never-ending poison. Um, it just lasts forever, and then when, when, the, when the person moves, when the person dies, uh, it can spread to someone in the vicinity. And then this is the original witch poison, it just lasts for some amount of time. But I feel like that could be very helpful here, because... Is everyone dead? Yeah, everyone's dead. Cool. Alright, this is what I like. I like to be two levels behind the recommended level of the dungeon, and yet I can just sit back, press buttons until everything dies. That's just my way of doing it, which I know sounds a little bit sarcastic, but at the same time, it's also kind of true, because, you know me, I'm not super big on dexterity. The thing that m I mainly like about RPGs is, like, the character building and the planning and, like, seeing how the decisions that you made about your character pay off. Now, in this particular game, there have been some very satisfying elements um, involving dexterity as well, because, for example, like, there are a couple of times when I... Oh, Jesus. Oh, the guy just missed me. <laughs> That's fun. Um, there have been a couple of times where I, you know, had a fight, and then I died. And then, like, I missed the boss. And then I tried again, and I lived. Oh, God, that was a heal for everybody? Jesus. Okay, you need to get charmed. I need to turn teleport on. And then everybody needs to kill him. I'm actually drink a potion here. This is still actually a very difficult fight. This is, I believe, where I died. Now, the difference is that I had all my healing potions going into this. So... That substantially improves my odds of making it. Are you? Did, is the guy dead? Did the wizard dude die? Oh, my teleport ran out. Okay. So I'm gonna teleport as far away as I can, raise as many skeletons as I can, blizzard to slow these guys down. Jesus! They're anticipating my movements! Okay, this is actually still a very difficult fight. I am still really hoping that there's not much after this. Hermes's charm. What is that? 20% movement speed. That's cute. Oh, Hermes. That uh, makes sense. Okay. Wow, my healing is actually pretty substantial. I guess it's just from this. I feel like when I was wearing the ring that only gave you six, or sorry, three health per turn, um, it was very slow. But the six seems fast enough that I'm actually willing to do some quote-unquote game commentary and just let my health bar fill up. I've only used one potion, though. So if I, if I have more... Oh, hey, we're at the end. Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be like a tough fight here. No! All right, I like game. You can surprise me. This is a garbage trinket. Clearly, that's just like a random effect. But okay, the game can surprise you sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on me! I sat around to wait for my health bar to fill up, but that epic fight where I actually had to quaff a potion was, in fact, a final battle. Well, I don't think I can do level 23, but what I think I might be able to do... You know what? F it. I'm just going to do this while I'm here. This is just this is just really, really dumb, but we'll just do this while we're here. This campsite. It should not take very long, as it is level 5. 
probably don't even need to use charm. I can probably just like meteor and they basically die. Okay. Are there actually gonna be multiple stages to this thing? Wandering plague, you poison you meteor. Yeah. Intruder! Get your knives ready, lads! Blizzard, you guys. Charm the archer. That means I need to use my skills on the melee person. Yeah, clicking things isn't that bad. Oh, more guys! Hey! Okay. So let's turn the teleport back on. Back on out of there. Chuck a blizzard and a poison into the mix, and we see what happens. I'm kind of curious if the wandering poison, like if the necromancer poison and the witch's poison stack or not. Is, is that guy just, did he just come up? Okay. They keep popping up after I kill them all. I'm just gonna stand here and face tank this damage because I think I can kind of get away with it. This being what it is. Oh my gosh, there's more? Wait, is that gold right there? Yes! Can't miss the gold. Okay, we have another bossy type of fight. Skeletons, come to me! Oh, I shouldn't have done the guy that I just charmed. That was a bit silly. Blop, for half your health. Yeah, this is several levels below me, so not super impressive or anything. Oh yeah, they do kind of just spawn out of the ground there, don't they? Suck the life out of you and raise a, a skeleton. Is that, did I just click on my? I just clicked on myself. What kind of a campsite has gates that only pop down and up when like all of the people are dead? Like, how, how do you engineer that? Do these bandits like hire the nearest sorcerer, blacksmith, and like, hey, we want uh, like a thing tied to our heartbeat so that if they all stop, uh, the gate goes down. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. I do that all the time. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. I guess we'll be doing this Razor Clans camp. Take care.